So I removed the fans. I just wanna see if it fits. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. So this fits. Definitely, it's not gonna fit because the holes don't don't line up, and I don't want to have to drill again. And it's not gonna be a lot of fun if I just keep drilling. I think I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna put the cooler on the inside, and then put the fans behind. Um, for now, I'm just gonna go with the cooler behind it and the fans behind the cooler. And then I'll see if I can, I don't know, if I can put these guys here. But like I said, the fans inside push. These guys will pull the air. So kind of like double the effect. Uh, cools it a little faster, so we'll see. So what I realized, um, it's better if I put, I install the fans when the case is out. I mean, the, when the radiator is out, out of the case, I install the bracket. See, this is the bracket that's going to be on top of the, this one, this bracket here is going to install on top of the uh, CPU. This is with the cooler end. I installed it on the inside. Next up, we'll be to install this right here. All right, let me set the camera up. Give me a second. Why? Do we receive the bank of Philip Telford? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so now that the cooler is hooked up, I got so many wires. Each fan has two wires, one for RGB, one for the power for the fan. And then I got a third one that's for the pump, for the water pump inside that's, you know, built into the, uh, to the uh, radiator. So now, we're gonna do this part here. So after I put the bracket, I'll show you how the bracket, the opening is facing the pipes. You take these this way. And then you take the thumb nuts Not all the way. And then the second one. And then these will grab that on to this one here. right here this is where they hook up on both sides so you see it let me go up one and this is the second one so this one we'll grab on the down one
Okay, so I tried so many different ways this cooler, but um, this is the best way. I tried it upside down. I put the fans on the inside, but now the fans on the outside is the most, you know, I think makes the most sense. Like the other ones, so it will be unified looking the same way. I just, I hate the fact that these tubes are sitting right on, on top of my RGB RAM, you know, that I'm going to install there, so it's going to cover some of it, so now I'm just going, um, trying to figure out all the wires like these from the front panel, see like the, that one button there I think that's for the light and then there is one here that's pretty sure that's the power then you have a USB 2.0 USB 3.0 I already connected those that's the USB uh, 3.0 and that's uh, another uh, actually that's for the um, HD audio this is for the H, uh, for the uh, USB 2.0, the black one. This is for the uh, 3.0, the blue one, on the front panel. And now I gotta figure out. So these guys, you can see, it's for the hard drive. You know, LED light. So it says HDD LED, power LED, power switch, and power LED plus. So I gotta get these. I um I had to use the manual. And here is the manual. So I had to go um to the motherboard manual to find the exact location to connect these. So we got um, power positive and negative. We got an HD hard drive LED and a power switch. So the, all of this has to do with the front panel of the uh, case. Okay, so, and JFP1 is actually this one here. Let me just turn on the light. That's this one here. So we gotta go and uh, have to make sure I realized that um, when you see they're all marked which is positive and negative so you can't mess it up you see power switch when it doesn't say anything in the front so you flip it and you see where the arrow is well that's your positive and that's where they all go this one right here and I gotta follow the manual because each one, you see, the top left, positive, on the left, negative, on the right, when you plug it, and then you have the power switch next to it, bottom right, that says reserved, uh, do the same thing for the hard drive, the LED and uh, the reset switch. I don't, think, I don't think I have a reset switch on this uh, case. So the front panel, they're all plugged in. The issue now, you know, cable management. I mean, I gotta figure out what to do with all these cables and how to tuck them away so they're not so obvious. Because, I mean, it's a clear see-through case, all glass. So I gotta make this look as clean as, as possible. All right, let's see how we do. I just got the card, so this is the card I'm gonna install. EVGA, the GTX 1070. Now we're gonna install the, uh, the RAM and the video card.
But second, I thought the video card didn't fit. I wasn't able to get it. And it was because these two tabs, one of them wasn't lined up. So I had to kind of bend it to get it to go in. Video card is in. But honestly, cabling for this uh, case, yeah, it's not a, it's not a walk in the park. As I mentioned earlier, before you know putting the uh, the cooler on the CPU, you have to remove the film, the plastic film. Okay, now we're gonna put the thermal paste. Start with the top. Okay. Like I said, a bummer that these tubes are sitting right on top of my RAM. Kind of like, um, you know, it's going to be obstructing the, uh, the lighting. But, uh, yeah, let me light it up. Uh, I haven't done anything to it, just so I can see that everything is working. Okay, power button, where are you? Looks like we're good. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. The front. See, the front is not the same because this is Corsair. Oh, no, this is MSI, so it's in sync with the uh, motherboard. With uh, I think I believe with the RAM. I'll I'll um I'll see later what I can do with the MSI uh, with the software to play around with the because I know um I think I uh, can control the fan speed, the lighting, and uh, 
You see this button on the bottom here? This, if you don't want to use the remote control, you can use this to change the light sequence. This head rotates, so if it's not lined up correctly, you can fix it. I don't know, I think, I think I really like it. I think it looks good. So, um, I'm going to uh, tidy up everything. Um, and I guess the good thing here is I got two spare fans now because I had to remove the fans in the front. So now if one of these, because I've read reviews that some people said the fans were good, some said not so good. Maybe after a few months they will crap out. Anyways, if they do, I'm just going to replace them. But for now I have two spare fans. Okay, this is... Uh almost the final product um, I kind of went OD with the fans so I added one of the spare fans so I added it right here it's blowing the same direction so it's blowing out uh, just like these guys here they're blowing out so just like a, as an exhaust this is gonna be so it's running with eight fans um, Plus the two for the uh, video card, but those they come out only when needed. Let's uh, turn off the lights for some visual effect. Again, this video, it is, it is not like a how-to, because I've never done this before. And, um, you know, I was just um, discovering new things as I was going along. So, it's a DIY, but it's not a guide um, in no way, shape, or form. So, please just take it for what it is. Uh okay, so I finished all the cable management as best as I could um, this is the glass with the glass on I had to clean the glass I know um, all the fingerprints and stuff I know. see it all the cabling it's not bad looking that's the top it's got Wi-Fi 6 the motherboard But um, I think uh, no, this is the power supply. So, like you see, um, if you're gonna get a power, I, I put a list of all the items um, I use for this install. Um, but I do recommend not to get the uh, power supply. I will uh, put because um, it was meant for um, for an um, up top install, not the the bottom of the case, because the it's just, it won't line up. You won't be able to uh, screw everything. So this is it. I think it looks good. I did the best I could. I mean, um, I'm happy with it. It's good. It's good enough. But honestly, it was um, this just you know, I wanted to try it, and um, I don't plan on changing anything with this setup for a while. Okay. 
we're gonna do some uh, light effect. And with the uh, holiday season, uh, you know, coming up, this is perfect. You know, happy holidays, everybody. Enjoy the Christmas uh, show. <laughs> 